Here we go. The question is, is the goat good? Oh my god. Seriously. <laughs> Lamb. It's almost time to serve our Maori feast. Our honored guests are arriving. They may have mixed ancestry, but make no mistake, they take their Maori heritage very seriously, especially when it comes to food. Wait, are you still cooking? Yeah, sorry, I'm gonna be super quick, okay? Literally 30 seconds, please. With kings of the ocean, Zane and Fluff at the table, I'd be thrown to the sharks if I didn't cook them some hand-dyed power. Oh God, soon if we don't hurry up. That was just tenderizing the power, by the way. Come on, come on, hustle. I'll be 30 seconds, I promise. Literally 30 seconds. Guess staring at us. Are they? Need to move, need to move. I know, I know, I know. Right, coming out the pan in five seconds. Five, four, yeah, hold on, my three, lemon. two, one. I am ready. Alongside my pan fry power, my goat with fuchsia berry chutney, and with my teriyaki glazed eel, I'm serving a raw salad of wild forest herbs. To accompany her goat, Monique's made her signature hoo-hoo grub sauce, Mary potato flatbreads, and hangy steam pudding. Mm. <laughs> What a day, and when you experience cooking like that for the first time, it becomes even more special, because it's special ingredients for special people with a special young chef, and then the uniqueness of it, because you start with those raw ingredients that are hand-sourced, and then you stick them in the ground, and all of a sudden, this whole thing comes to life, and you start taking in this culture that has been a tradition for, for centuries. The question is, have I done it justice? I've never been so nervous putting something into a hole and waiting three and a half hours for it to cook <laughs> because I'm a control freak. So, did I pass the test? Yeah, yes. Well. yes. yes. <laughs> Everything is superb. The goat with the sauce on it, that's, that's mm. incredible, that. Yeah. And the power is to die for. The yeah. bill's just yeah. really got itself. I'm just being a highlight. <laughs> <laughs> Gordon did an awesome job. He's picked up a lot in a really short time about mouldy ingredients and mouldy cooking techniques. I didn't think a Brit would pick up our way of doing things so fast, but he's impressed me a lot. Spending this week with Monique has been amazing because in many ways she reminds me of myself at 31. The difference between her and I is that I was trained in a modern European style and she's trained in a Maori style and this connect together has been a wonderful lesson.